Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have the follow-up for iOS 12.3, Beta 3. Now, if you follow me here on the channel, I usually give you guys these updates uh, two to three days after the beta gets released. But to be honest, there's been so many issues and bugs that I've been testing on this software, the latest Beta 3, that I wanted to extend the actual testing. And uh, there's a lot, a lot to talk about that I wanna share with you guys. Starting with some of the features missing, if you didn't catch my initial coverage for iOS 12.3, under the reduced motion tabs and settings, the autoplay video uh, preview uh, has been completely removed. This option has been completely removed. So if you go to settings, we go to general, we go to accessibilities, and then we go to the reduced motion here, you see that this option no longer appears in this particular category here. So that has been removed in case you miss my initial coverage. Now I wanna talk about some of the known issues and some of the issues I've come across myself. Apple has acknowledged that you cannot update to iOS 12.3 beta 3 unless you were running beta 2 okay so if you're coming from a public release or from beta 1 you won't be able to install this version so hopefully Apple will fix that in the upcoming iOS 12.3 beta 4 which by the way hopefully Apple will go back to a one week release cycle for iOS betas because if you follow me here on the channel and you see the trends Apple usually ramps up production on betas once they're almost ready to be shipped. So beta one and beta two usually have two weeks in between the release dates. Same thing from beta two to beta three. But from beta three for the most part to beta four, which is what I'm anticipating today, uh, there could be a one week release cycle. So Apple could be releasing beta four for iOS 12.3 as early as today, Monday the 29th, if you're watching this video today. So let's keep our fingers crossed because there's a lot that I wanna share with you guys about this software that I've been having issues with. Now, some of you guys on Twitter have been sharing new stickers available under the activities. I haven't seen these myself, but a lot of you guys have been reporting this. So take a look here at the music icon. You see there, it's glitching out. Take a look here at the news, it'll glitch out. Take a look at the notes. It'll constantly be doing this in the background and it's cleaning applications in the background. It's what it's doing. So let me go ahead here and roll this clip backwards here and see right there it says cleaning. Let's take a look at the news icon. It says cleaning. So it's constantly doing this in iOS 12.3. It's cleaning applications in the background. It just looks kind of weird that the icons sort of glitch out just like that uh, on beta three is a little bit confusing. Now, one thing I can say about iOS 12.3 uh, beta 3 is that the battery has been great. It's the only thing that I can say has been great anywhere from seven to eight to nine hours of battery life of on-screen time with this software. Now a very strange bug I wanna share with you guys was with the phone calling on the Apple Watch and the iPhone. So when you make a phone call, for those of you that don't own an Apple Watch, you make a phone call on your iPhone, it'll start calling of course, and on your Apple Watch, you'll get this icon here where you can tap and it'll take you straight to the phone call that's on progress, right? So you see the icon there on top of the screen, that tells you a phone call is happening. Well, I hung up, I turned off the phone call, disconnected, took my Apple Watch off, I was going to take a shower. When I came back from taking a shower, put the Apple Watch back on, the icon was still on the top of the screen. There was no phone call going on the iPhone and uh, it was still going, so it was kind of creepy. I can't get it to reproduce that again, but uh, I was actually using AirPods uh, to talk at that moment, and I had my Apple Watch on, uh, but when I hung up and I went to take a shower and came back and put the Apple Watch back on, it was still rolling. The call was still rolling on the Apple Watch, but not on the iPhone. There was no signs on the iPhone that the call was still going. That was kind of creepy. Now, it is unfortunate because Apple, instead of going from okay, good, great, it's going backwards, right? And I know it is beta software. Beta software tends to have bugs and issues, but it should be going from okay to great, not from great to okay, right? Not backwards. Uh, I noticed that Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity issues came back after Apple had sort of fixed this on previous versions of iOS, not only beta, but unfortunately I've had some instances where my connection says no SIM and I didn't touch the SIM, I didn't do anything to the phone, disconnected completely. I don't know if that's a physical hardware issue, but I removed the SIM, put it on another iPhone and it was working just fine. Uh, network connections drop, Wi-Fi issues once again. It's been really, really bad actually. And if I turn on airplane mode, the iPhone will freeze. Let me show you, I can't do anything. It just freezes, look, it just kind of stutters everywhere, anything you do. Turning one Bluetooth on and off just sort of freezes the iPhone. I'm not sure why that is. Can't really do anything, can't swipe. Why, I'm not sure. Look, it just even crashed on me there. So 
it's kind of weird that this is happening. Uh, I'm not sure why that is either, but um, iOS 12.3 has just treated me really, really bad. The only great thing I can say is battery, but performance has been really bad. So hopefully today we'll see iOS 12.3 beta 4 to address the issue where some users can't update to the beta. And of course, a lot of these issues that I talked about today, Wi-Fi, cell connectivity issues, the whole glitching of the software, the connection with the phone call thing that I've experienced, it's just been a lot. And again, I know it is beta software, but we should be going in progress, not backwards. So hopefully we'll see a new update today. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you most likely later today. Peace.